All right, so for friends who are just joining, we're about to do some baby playtime. So the stuff I'm doing today is kind of meant for the pre-locomotor babies, the babies who are not yet crawling around, walking around, um, the babies who are still probably in that first year. But if you have a baby that's a little older than that, totally fine. You can go through the exercises and activities that we're doing with them in a way that makes sense for them. And if we have older siblings around, oh, hi, Angela, hi, Noel. Older siblings or toddlers or preschoolers who want to participate with us today, that's great too. They can pretend to be caregivers with a baby of their own. So grab a dolly or a stuffy, and that's super fun too. Baby Sylvia and big sister Evelyn. Hi, guys, thanks for joining us. I love when we've got siblings together. Okay. So we're going to jump right in together. We will begin our baby playtime today with this song that we always start our IntelliDance babies class with. So get ready to stand up with your baby. If you don't know me, I'm Emily. I'm the director of Little Beats and I'm obsessed with babies. And I teach the IntelliDance Babies class um, every Tuesday at the studio. So we're just trying to have some videos at home that you guys can do with your little babies. So welcome. We're going to stand up holding our baby. And we're going to start class with our welcome waltz. So for the welcome waltz, you just need to know kind of a simple rhythm. It goes like this. Down, tippy toes, 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 just like that. And if you have a little trouble sitting with the rhythm, that's totally fine. Your baby doesn't know. It, it's not dancing with the stars. All right, so here we go. If you've been in my baby class before, your baby will know this song. All right, here we go. Down tippy toes, 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 tippy toes, down down tippy toes, down up Jordy's gonna dance with Nala. Down tippy toes, down tippy toes, down tippy toes, down tippy toes. Good. Using this song to really wake up our body, rock side to side, get a little bit off balance. Good. Again, in this song and in everything we do, we're trying to move our baby in lots of different ways so they can experience the sensation of moving their body. Building spatial awareness. Yep. That's fine. Some babies like to face in. Nala's facing in heart to heart today. Yes. That's okay. All right, let's get a little bit dizzy. We're going to spin one. Down and up. 
and down. Grown-ups, you might feel this one in your thighs. <laughs> down and up and down and up. Good. Down and up and down and up. Baby goes down and up and down. Good. All right, my friends, take a seat on the floor. Your heart rate might be up a little bit. That's good. Gotta get some exercise in quarantine. Right, Jordy? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a little welcome song that will get your mouth expressing some vowels. And I want baby to be on the floor for this so they can read your mouth as you sing this with us. So I'm gonna sing. Hold on, I'm going to tilt my camera down a little bit for Facebook so you guys can see us on the floor here. Good, okay. Here we go. So this is Willoughby Wallaby Woo. You might know this one. It's one of my favorites. It goes like this. I'm going to look at you guys, but you look at baby once you get the gist of it. Willoughby Wallaby Woo, an elephant sat on you. Willoughby Wallaby Wee, an elephant sat on me. Willoughby Wallaby Wellmo, an elephant sat on Elmo. Willoughby Wallaby Wami, an elephant sat on Mommy. Willoughby Wallaby, say your baby's name. An elephant sat on. Good. Willoughby Wallaby Worry. An uh -huh. elephant sat on Jory. So look in your baby's eyes and we're going to do Willoughby Wallaby Woo. An elephant sat on you. Here we go. Look in my, my baby's eyes. Yeah, look in your baby's eyes. Willoughby Wallaby Woo. An elephant sat on you. Willoughby Wallaby Wee. An elephant sat on me. Yay! All right. While we're kind of eyes to eyes, faces are kind of close, we're going to do a little song called Eyes, Nose, Cheeky, Cheeky, Chin. So you're going to touch your own eyes, nose, cheek, and chin the first time. The second time, we'll touch babies as we sing the song. And then the third time, you'll touch yours again. So we go really close, head to head to our baby. Maybe our baby's sitting up. Maybe our baby's lying down. Yes. Yeah. Really? And we sing eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. Mommy? Eyes, nose, just do what I'm doing. Cheeky, cheeky, chin. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. Cheeky, cheeky, chin, nose, eyes. Now we'll do it to baby. Ready? Touch their eyes gently. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. Eyes, Nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. Cheeky, cheeky, chin, nose, eyes. Now last time to your own face, here we go. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. Cheeky, cheeky, chin, nose, eyes. Yay! Oh, I think Jordy's friend Amelia is watching. Say hi, Amelia. Oh, no. Hi, Amelia. Hi, Ethan. <laughs> All right, so we're on the floor. We're going to do some of our favorite brain play exercises to get our bodies moving in some really important ways. So we're going to sing a song that you know, Wheels on the Bus. Okay, and we're gonna start by making circles very gently with our baby's legs. Get some hip motion there. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. I'm gonna turn just so you can see what I'm doing a little more with Elmo. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to lift up those hips gently, toes to our nose. The babies on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. 
The babies on the bus go up and down all through the town. If you can remember which way you were circling before, I was circling to the right, let's switch and circle to the opposite way. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. Let's make up that upper body. We're gonna swish our arms. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. Swish, 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 the wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. Now we're going to do a little baby Pilates, work on that core very gently. If your baby can hold up their head independently, then we're going to pull their arms and let them sit up on their own. If they can't hold their head up independently yet, for younger than like four months old, we're going to support the back of their neck and lift their upper body up for them. Here we go. The babies on the bus go up. We can come up to seated or all the way up to standing. Up and down. Gently back down. They go up. up, 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 up. Ready to kiss? Up. And down. Those babies go up to seated. Maybe all the way up to standing. And we have to kiss. And down, the babies on the bus go last time. Up, 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 up. and down, very gently back down, all through the town. And clap your hands because your baby did such a good job. Good job, baby. You're getting so strong. It's awesome. All right. We're going to do some body sides now. So what I'm going to do here is take Elmo's hand, right hand, um, same hand, same foot, and we're going to roll over to one side. And then I'm going to take the other side of Elmo's body and roll it over to the other side. So we're crossing that vertical midline here and bringing awareness to our body sides. And it goes like this. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair baby. So baby's rolling over from side to side. Very good. Now let's do some cross lateral. So opposite hand to opposite foot. Build it up with love and hugs. Love and hugs, love and hugs. Build it up with love and hugs, my fair baby. Other side. Build it up with kisses and snuggles, kisses and snuggles, kisses and snuggles. Build it up with kisses and snuggles, my fair baby. Yay! Good job, baby. Maybe we give baby a big kiss because they're doing such a good job. Mwah. Part of the benefit of all this baby play that we do is building that social connection, that secure bond between you and baby, helping them understand that you are their rock, you are there for them in their life, and you're also there to play with them and engage with their world, in their world with them. Um, when we try to see the world through the eyes of our babies, we just live in constant wonderment. Everything is amazing. Um, so especially when you're in this time of quarantine and your mind's going a little nuts, think about things from the perspective of your baby as if everything's new and you're figuring everything out for the first time. That makes things a little bit more exciting. Okay, so I have sat my baby up because he's been on his back for a long time. He's doing such a great job. We're going to do a little lap bounce together. So I'll turn a teeny bit. We're going to do bouncing up and down in my little red wagon to activate our vestibular system, get moving a little bit. So here we go. We're going to bounce, 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 bounce. Bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. Bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. Bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. 
Won't you be my darling? Bouncing side to side in my little red wagon. Bouncing side to side in my little red wagon. Rocking side to side in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? It's a little bit bumpy on the road. We're going to go forward and back. Forward and back in my little red wagon. Forward and back in my little red wagon. Forward and back in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? And we come back to bouncing. Bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. Bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. Bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? Baby goes up. Or baby goes back for a big hooray! Woo! Pothole! Nice one. I hope your baby likes that one. You can do that one at home with toddlers too. It's pretty fun. You can also do that with your baby facing you. That makes it a little bit more engaging. Or if you've got a mirror in front of you, that's a fun way to do it as well. Okay, we're going to do Jack in the Box, which is a little rhyme that we do to... Um, um, experience our core distal movement pattern. So our baby will come in, we're gonna make their body really small, back into that fetal tuck that they came from, and then we're gonna be stretching their body out really wide, so big. So that's our distal movement. So our core and our distal. Another way you can do this, especially with a younger baby, who um, still needs that real head support is, I have Elmo now facing me. His head is on my knees. Or if your baby just wants to look at you while you do this, um, this is another way you can do it together. So my knees come up for core. We're going to tuck, tuck, tuck. And then my knees go down for that big stretch out. So you can do this facing your baby, or you can do this with your baby facing out. Okay, so tuck in, tuck in, tuck in. Here we go. We're going to sing, oh, Mr. Sun. Oh, Mr. Sun, sun. Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Stretch. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. Come back in and hide. All the little babies are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Big stretch. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun. Mr. Golden Sun, come back in. Please shine down on. Won't you shine down on? Please shine down on me. Big stretch. Yay! Very good. And your baby might kind of resist you and pull you back when you try to stretch their arms out straight. That's good. They're using their muscles. Keep going. Stretch them all the way out so they can experience that sensation of how big they can be in that first year of life. They're really going to be stretching out their body in very discreet ways every day, multiple times a day. Um, so helping facilitate that is really great. Okay, we're going to do a little um, play right now with a um, prop that makes noise. So if you have a ball that has a, a bell in it, or if you have a maraca, I have an egg shaker. Um, so anything that makes noise. If you've got like some kitchen spoons, you can use rhythm sticks. Um, all I want to do is have some sort of um, auditory stimulation you can use for this activity. So this is my shaker egg. Shake, shake, shake. I'll give you a minute to maybe grab something. Anything that makes noise. Good. Okay. So I like to use this to help baby with eye tracking. So we can do this without singing, like you can literally put the egg over their head. Think vertical and horizontal. So vertical, we're going up high and down low. Baby's eyes are looking up and down. And then horizontal, we're going side to side. Earlier in babyhood, a baby will use their entire head to eye track an object. 
Whereas later in the second half of the baby's first year, you're going to see that they're going to learn to just use their eyeballs. So horizontal, side to side, and vertical, up and down. And those eye muscles are really critical for being able to crawl, being able to see three-dimensionally, being able to calculate things in space, um, and also down the road being able to read. And obviously when we're reading, that's a horizontal eye um, experience. So all great stuff for learning to read. So I'm going to sing a song about my shaker egg, and then we'll do a little body part shaker egg game together. My shaker egg goes up and down very slowly. See if baby will follow it. It goes up very slowly. Here's the egg. Good. And it goes down. Follow it down. So hopefully maybe your baby is looking up and down, whether that's with their whole head or just with their eyeballs. My shaker egg goes side, start on one side, two side, other side, good. Side, slowly moving to the other side. Maybe you take the egg totally out of their vision and make quiet, and then you surprise them. I don't know, maybe the egg is all of a sudden over here, and then all of a sudden you make some noise and see if baby will find it. So giving them the chance to kind of follow that stimulation is really great for their brain. Bye, good. All right, I'm gonna play a song. It's called the Hip Hop Body Rock, and we're gonna tap our instruments on different parts of the baby's bodies as the song cues us to do so. All right, so it's a little bit of baby hip hop, one of my favorite ones. Oh, my computer's asking for the password. Here we go. All right. Get ready for hip hop body rock. Here we go. My, I'm gonna put Elmo on my lap. Good. Tapping our head. Shake that shaker on my head. My toes. Shake that shaker on my toes. Find those baby toes. Take that shaker on my toes. Ooh, my arms. Can you shake that shaker on your arm? Tap, 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 tap on your arm. Good. Now we roll it out. Roll it out, roll it out. Now I know he's part of me. All the little baby things have for me. Good. All right, let's find that belly. My belly. Shake that shaker on my belly. My belly. Shake that shaker on my belly. Oh, my knee. Shake that shaker on my knee. Good. Shake that shaker on my knee. Oh, my chin. On the little chin, chin, chin. My chin. Shake that shaker on my chin. Good. Roll it out. All the little babies sing down to me. How I know each part of me. All the little babies sing down to me. All the little babies sing down to me. everybody. I hope your little ones like that shaker egg song and activity. It's called the Hip Hop Body Rock. Maybe I'll call it out in our next newsletter that goes out. Give me a thumbs up if you've been seeing our newsletter and actually paying attention to the three little activity tips linked to the bottom of the newsletter. We give you a DIY activity at home. We give you a link to one of our YouTube videos and we give you a link to one of our favorite songs from classes. In every newsletter, we've been sending that out three days a week. If you're not getting it, message us below, and we'll make sure that you can get on the newsletter list. If you are getting it, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Hopefully you like it. If you haven't been seeing it, open it. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do before um, we go today is we'll sing our bye-bye song. So, oh, thanks for the thumbs up. 
<laughs> okay, so we're going to sing it just like we sing it in the IntelliDance class. If you have a baby at home or a tyke or a toddler who's gone through IntelliDance class, they will know this song and hopefully they'll sing it loud with us. So get out those bye-bye hands. Goodbye, goodbye, everyone. We all danced and had such fun. Reach up high and touch your toes. Now it's time for us to go. Goodbye, dancers, big and small. Goodbye, dancers. One and all. Yay! Thanks for joining me, my baby friends. Head over to the YouTube channel for some more fun. Also, check out the IntelliDance YouTube channel for a whole bunch of more awesome um, brain and body developing activities you can do at home. Tune in to us tomorrow at 11 a.m. with Miss Danny. She can't wait to see you guys. Um, and again, let us know if you have any requests for songs or activities that you want us to do from home. We're here for you. We can't express how much we miss you and seeing you in our classes. Hopefully someday soon we'll all be back there together. I love you so much for being with us today. Thank you. And I'll see you again on Thursday for our dance party. Bye. Mwah. Mwah. Almost says mwah. <laughs> Bye, everybody.